this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy and let's say that you've done your first floor plan and now you're ready to print it out and everybody knows that printing is very important that's uh, the information that you get to the city to uh, get a building permit and get the project going so we're gonna go over here and take a look at this section which is our sheet drawing set if I go to my first floor here I can see that I have my first floor already on this sheet, but the problem is that's not my sheet. That's not my title block. And title blocks are very, very important. So let's come on down here and you see there is a list of masters. So you have um, masters that you can pick and you could edit these masters, but let's say we want an all new title block. I'm going to right click and say new master layout. I am going to call this master layout the CADS Academy and we definitely want this to be an architectural D and notice it puts margins on it already or printable area because you can't print on the edge of a sheet of paper I'm going to say create and this is my new title block sheet now say I've already got a title block that I can bring in from another package that I've used for years I can go file special merge and I can bring in that title block in whatever format it's in. So if you recognize these formats, it's easy to bring in a title block from another format. But let's say you just want to do, you know, you're going to do your own custom one here. We'll play this with this just a little bit. So let's go to, uh, let's say, fill here. And, well, not fill, let's go into line. And let's draw a rectangle over here. If we're going to make a quick and dirty title block. It's not going to be like anything that you want to put on your um, drawing, but it shows you possibilities. I'm going to go to fill here, and I'm going to select a different fill pattern. Let's do a, a linear gra a gradient, but I'm going to use my magic wand and just have it fill it in there. Now let's go into text and let's put in our company name. I'm going to change the point size to be like 70 points. I'm going to rotate this to be 90 degrees. And I'm going to make it white so it shows up on that black. Let's double click for a beginning point. And this is called brown and company. So there we go. Pretty cool. Now if I needed to move that, I just get into my regular edit and I can move that up into here. Anyway, possibilities there. And then we have another area down here. And this area, of course, is where we are going to... I'm just going to eyeball this. It's not a good thing to eyeball stuff, but I am. It's not a good eyeball some days. But anyway, so now we want to fill this in with uh, specific information, drawn by date, that sort of information. So then we go back to text. We need to take that text and make it back into black so we can see it, obviously. We're going to take the points down to the standard uh, point size for this. We're going to change the rotation angle. And I'm not going to bother to fill in this to be lovely, but this should give you an idea. I'm going to say OK. And now I am ready to do my text. So I'm just going to click right here. <clears throat> and if I uh, choose this little funky looking A, this gives me some options of things to choose. And what is really a wonderful thing about this is let's say we want to put in the project name right now. I can say insert and I have the project name. And again, we might want to change the size of the font, but let's say we want to now put in um, the, let's say, we have the project name, let's put in the client, maybe. So put in the client, and then let's put in a state that this is being done in. And again, you can hopefully see the idea of what I'm, I'm doing here going to insert the state here and I'm going to put in a timestamp because that's really important then you know which is the latest drawing that you printed because sometimes when you get in a busy 
that's a, a problem. But if you did these all in separate lines, you could have different heights. You could have different fonts if you wanted. But we did it all in one, and we did it quite small. But uh, so that is in this area. So now we got our our custom uh, title block going on. And of course, it's not perfect, but now if we go over to File and we go uh, File Info. I can actually fill in information here. So this is uh, the client is Mr. and Mrs. Adams, and the project name is Adams New Construction, and we have we did a client. I think we already put that in, and we have a city that we put in. But again, you would fill out in every, all of this anything that's important. And it's in beautiful Arizona. And it already has the time. I think those are the only things that we filled in. But anyway, we say OK. But you'd want to fill them all in. But notice how that automatically fills that in for us. That's very, very cool. Let's go then. And we're ready to print our first our uh, floor plan. So we're going to go to that first floor plan, that first uh, uh, the um, basic floor plan and let's right click here and go to layout settings and we don't want this D we want our beautiful CAD Academy D so now we've updated it to our sheet set we can do a couple of other things here if we'd like this say that we this is we're just going to print out this sheet at one quarter inch equals a foot and we can move this the the plan around if we'd like but I want them to get an overall view of this I'm just going to take this to the client I'm not taking it to the city yet and I want a 3d generic perspective on here I'm going to grab that bring it in here and now we have a little bit of information about the uh, what it looks like in 3d I'm going to go to arrow and let's go ahead and move this and there's things here that do not print out, do not show up on the printouts. And I'm going to wait till I get this one. There's a way to cycle through this as well. There we got it. Okay, I'm going to click on this and let's go ahead and just move this over a little bit. We can right click now and go into settings here and there's a lot of things we can change here like saying I don't want a, any title on that because it has a title with a uh, scale you can um, change properties you can change the um, frame so I can say I want to manually resize the frame then I could actually come in here and move that around or I can make the frame show up if I want the frame to show up on the printout right now it's not going to and let's say I want one other thing over here I want to bring in an elevation so I'm going to bring in an elevation to print on here as well and we'll just go ahead and move that over into place and that's all I would like to do for this drawing so you can see that you can it's very very flexible I could have gone ahead and printed out a whole sheet set and over here this is actually doing a PDFs of uh, my whole entire plan as I go this is an area where you can organize your sheets before you get them over into this format here but it's easy to customize a title block to bring in your own title block or customize one now let's say that I am doing another project and I haven't set up my environment I haven't got my favorites of things I don't have anything set up and I want to print that on that uh, title block but I didn't I don't have any way to do that right now it doesn't seem like I do so I go I can go here and take a look and of course I don't have that because I didn't do anything right but I do need it right now I'm going to do a right click here say new master layout and we definitely want it to be a D size sheet I'm going to say create it, zoom it out, then I'm going to go back into where we were working. Let's go down to the lovely title block we created. I'm going to zoom out here and let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a select all. I'm going to do a copy 
and we're going to go to the other um, drawing we're working on and now we can go ahead and do a paste and we'll just say that that's where we want it and we have our uh, a title block in here that and the attributes will automatically update when we put in attributes for this new uh, drawing as well so it, it zeroed out the uh, title blocks or that information but it'll automatically update it as well so hopefully if you had questions on doing this is answered it there is so much flexibility in this package and you can really customize it uh, down to the nth degree uh, with anything that you need to do so uh, enjoy it and thanks for listening